Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So today we're going to go over some ideas about how you can get to know the bottom of your pelvis <laughs> better. Um, movement, tactile, some breathing stuff, just some, some simple things that you can do, but also it might inspire you to think about other things that you might be able to do. Um, it's just really important that we know our bodies, right? And the pelvis is, is really some place that even if, you know, not consciously that we're shutting ourselves off from in a lot of different ways. And that we, we don't typically think about mobile, mobile, mobilizing our pelvis outside of like turning our pelvis on our femur heads, right? We're just n not really um, aware of, you know, different things that we can do to open one side or to, to work our, our pelvis in, in a torsion, things like that. So um, the first thing I want you to do is just maybe sit on a stool or a chair and you're gonna be taking your fingers under your tush and you're gonna be taking your fingers, fingernails, um, to the inside of your sitting bone. So towards that medial side of your sitting bone and we're just gonna be trying to contact the um, pelvic muscles from that angle and kind of specifically trying to um, get into your obturator internus. So you're going to lift one sitting bone up and you're going to take your fingertips and you'll just start to palpate that inner sitting bone. And so you can lift the sitting bone up and you can drop it down so that sitting bone kind of goes heavy into your hand. And you can do that a few more times. And when the sitting bone's lifted, you can kind of massage that inside of the sitting bone, kind of walk your hands all the way back, like towards your tail and then forward, and then go back down, and then maybe one more time, walking forward, all the way forward, and then all the way back. And then pull the sitting bone out and just sit down for a moment. So that was very, very simple, right? Didn't take too long. And just from that, that little bit of work, um, the sides of my pelvis feel totally different. Now, going on with the side, uh, we're gonna drop this sitting bone off the the edge of the stool. So you can see I just have that one sitting bone on the stool and then my, my other leg is going um, towards the back. So I'm on the front of my foot and my knee is um, reaching down towards the floor. And then here, I'm lucky I have the wall here, so this really helps. So here I'm gonna try to tuck my tail forward and I'm gonna try to drop my knee down and kind of swing my knee in a little bit and swing my knee out and swing my knee in and out and then come all the way back up. And let's do that again. So I'm gonna tuck my tail so I'm in hip extension and I'm gonna drop my hip down, right? So I've, I've kind of dropped my right hip a little bit lower than my left. So my lumbar is kind of traveling over to my right side and then I'm gonna to try to keep my pelvis in place as I swing my knee out and my knee in, and then I'm gonna come back up to my tall position and then just sit on the stool. <laughs> it feels so different. I wish that we were not doing a video right now because I don't have time to do the other side, but I I'm definitely gonna to have to do it after we cut. This is kind of amazing. And what happens is that your femur head now has a lot more space to kind of draw back into the, the back of the hip socket. Um, and then to add on to this, of course, you at home would do both sides. Right? And then you can come to a wall. I have a very, very small wall here, but um, I'm just gonna put my heels on, but you, of course, would put your whole foot on the wall. And 
ideally, if I had a bigger wall, my feet would be out more because I really want to encourage sitting bones open, tail down, inner thighs up. And even here, I can get my hands and then try to find my sits bones. So I'm on the inside of my sitting bones again and I'm pulling my sitting bones apart. And then I can pivot on my heels. So my toes are going up to the ceiling, but I'm still pulling my sitting bones apart and thinking about dropping my tail and then externally rotating again and then going back to parallel and externally rotating. And I'll do one more. This feels really, really good. Pulling my sitting bones apart and down. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.